over and welcome back to Let's Play Doom on the PlayStation. Last time I got through the factory, now we're going to be on the inmost den. Or dens. I might seem a little bit brain dead in this episode, hopefully I don't. Uh, but I've been working on a very old computer. Hey, look, shocking ammo. Working on a very, very old computer for the past, you know, I don't know, three or four hours going in circles. And uh, when you work on computers, Typically, that's the kind of thing that tends to happen. You just wind up going around in circles and circles and chasing things around and smack your head against the wall for, you know, a couple hours before you finally figure out something. So, yeah. The joys of working on computers. Anyway, so just be careful with these chain gun guys. They will tear you up, you know, wherever you are. This is an area where you kind of got to do some quote-unquote platforming. And I didn't get a chance to say this in the first recording because, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, the first recording got messed up. Um, but can I just say the menu music in Doom on the PlayStation is really awesome. You know, that's a really badass theme. Even this right now is pretty cool. Pretty creepy, but like, the one on the menu is just like, you know, fun, badass kind of theme. You know, it's not really meant to be creepy. This is meant to creep you out. That's the unique thing about the PlayStation Port of Doom. The PlayStation Port of Doom is meant to creep you out. Whereas PC Port is meant to be like you're just screwing around having fun, you know, killing demons, that kind of thing. Two very different tones. Oh, Lost Souls. What are you doing here? Yeah, there's this game I want to try on. Um, my friend introduced me to it on the Switch. It's, uh, I'm trying to roll it. It's called, um, oh, shit, this is going to bug me. Hang on a second. I have it actually typed in on my phone. One second, sorry. But I think you guys will like this if you're into Doom. So bear with me for a sec, please. See, oh, that's right. Apocryph. Or Ap Apocryph. I think it's A P O C R Y P H. So yeah, it's basically it looks like a modern day hex center heretic. Um, the game doesn't seem entirely polished. It seems as though it's missing some things, and it seems like the controls are a bit weird. But if you want to try out for twenty bucks, I mean it's a cool looking game. It's basically a spiritual successor. So. I've not tried it yet, I'll probably buy it, so... Alright, I have a rocket for you, Mr. Chain Gunner. There you go. Nope, okay. That still works. Yeah, sorry if I'm only- or sorry that I'm only doing one episode per level right now. That's basically because... Or did I say one episode per level? Sorry, one level per episode. Le English. Um, it's basically because these levels now are getting really complicated, and especially because I'm not, you know, if I if I play this game a ton more, if I sp did a speed run, whatever, yeah. But because I just don't play, right? I don't, you know, I'm not super familiar with this version of Doom. You know, I don't really know the ins and outs of it, so it takes me a bit of time. Thankfully, they weren't cruel. So this is just water. And actually, I think this comes to the yeah, okay. So even if you fall, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, also, too, I bumped up the volume a little bit for the um, application here for Doom. So, you know, in Task Manager and all that. So, and actually, I think I need to find a switch. So hopefully, the game's a bit louder. I noticed that Harry Potter. I noticed that Harry Potter the other day. Uh, the game is audible, but it wasn't super audible either, so this is bumped up another 2%. Again, EPS XE, so hopefully you guys can hear it a little bit better and enjoy it a little bit better. Matter of fact, it's even a little bit different for me. I'm using a different set of headphones just for convenience sake. Let's see, there's another door around here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Let's see, that's what you do. Let's take care of this guy real quick. I saw my mister earlier. Oh, 
Oh boy. I want a BFG. You know what I want to do though? I want to play through um, Doom 64 again. Um, I played through the game once, and it was a pretty awesome experience. It's very much like this version of Doom. So, who knows? Maybe after this version of Doom is done for a Let's Play, maybe I'll just go on to Doom 64. Who knows? I'm in the mood to play through it anyway. It's been about two years. I didn't get the special pieces for the, I think it's the Unmaker. So the final boss was a bit of a pain, but still, worthwhile game. Definitely worthwhile. It's basically like, basically this version of Doom, same soundtrack, same basic gist, except the graphics look a little bit better. It's an 64 version, if you can tell by the uh, 64 at the end of it. Squish. If you didn't already, check out the, um, check out the video I did real quick on the uh, door glitch in Doom. The door, and I think it's... House of Pain, not Tyra Perry's House of Pain, um, House of Pain, where you go through a teleporter, you go through a room, and then if you try and use the door, or hit use before the room, it like closes off the room, you get this black, kind of void looking thing, it's a glitch looking thing, I don't know, it's kind of glitched, and um, yeah, if you do that, you basically just hear if you keep pressing use, you constantly hear the uh, squish sound effect and the sound of a door opening. Yeah, I don't know how they missed it. I guess they never intended for people to turn around and head back, you know, backtrack the other way. So that's kind of why that is that way, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, this is a secret, isn't it? Cool. Rockets. So I could technically go through and get some of these other things like this chain gun, some other stuff, but um, I don't know. So like Mike said, this isn't supposed to be a 100% playthrough of the game. It's basically just a playthrough game kind of thing, so... Going through and getting all the secrets isn't my top priority. It's a bonus. Wouldn't hurt to have more shank than ammo, though. I don't think anybody will ever argue with that. It would be cool if we get... <laughs> okay. I was about to say it would be cool if we get to the supercharge. I was thinking it was going to be this big, complicated thing, and yet, suddenly, here you go. I didn't expect it to just open like that. I thought it was I thought it was gonna fight with me. There was gonna be something else I had to do to try and get to that, but clearly I was wrong. So that's neat. Alright, so I think we're ready to go. I don't really think there's much else left for us to do around here. Really not that much shotgun ammo, so I guess we're gonna stick to the chain gun for the most part. I'm trying not to fall. Let's see, I'm trying to remember exactly where I think yeah, this is trying to remember how we did that. I like said brain fried. I'm very at a loss with the problem I'm doing with on this old computer and I'm just tired. So, <laughs> trying my best to, to make an entertaining episode. Secret. Oh, something else too. I just got a Minecraft on the Switch. So that's pretty neat. I was planning on getting that for a little while. It's not bad. Um, is that ammo? Okay. Um, it's not bad so far. Like I said, I, I had Minecraft on the 3DS. It's my portable version. It's a very basic version of Minecraft. Let's put it that way. I don't know, did I just mess it up? I, yeah, I need to go back around again. It's a very basic version of Minecraft. Let's put it that way. 
whereas the Minecraft for Nintendo Switch is based on Pocket Edition or Bedrock Edition, something like that. And um, it's, it's a pretty competent port of Minecraft. It's kind of weird in comparison to Java, which is what me and Chrome are used to playing. Um, but it's not bad, though. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of different. Portable Minecraft, though, so I'm not going to complain. I mean, it's kind of annoying. You have to do the whole Microsoft sign-in thing. It's, you know, the Switch, and you have to go through all that crap. I mean, hell, that's why I got the Switch port anyway. One of the reasons I didn't want to deal with, um, you know, trying to get crossplay working on Windows 10. It's already a disaster. And it 100% all around. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more like this, hit that like button down below, and the subscribe button is right next to it too, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.